Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey, if anybody is new and joining me here today, thank you so much. My slogan is believable brown beauty. That doesn't mean you have to be brown to stay and participate. It just means that's the kind of makeup I like to do on this channel. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please keep watching. So today's video is um, a bit of a mashup for me because I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. I've been thinking about it all morning and when I came home, I was just like, I'm just gonna do something really glamorous because um, I don't think I've really done that yet. So let's get straight into it. Firstly, I'm priming my skin with my Becca Evermatt Poreless Priming Perfector. And I'm just really rubbing it in. I've got some horrible spots on this side of my face, which is so strange for me because I don't, I don't actually really get spots. So I don't know what that's about, but hey ho, we press on. Just working this into the central part of my face as this is where I get shiniest. Today I'm using the Makeup Forever Foundation. This colour is Y505. And I think I had to mix this, if I remember correctly, because surprise, surprise, I couldn't find my colour. So I'm mixing it with a tiny bit of R520. I'm using a Real Techniques um, sculpting brush just to buff that in. Yeah, it was tricky for me today thinking about what to do. I just thought, just try and use new things, stuff that you haven't used before or you don't use all the time. Just get out of your comfort zone. Yeah, look at these, look at these monsters on the side of my face. I don't know what that's about. That looks good. Love the finish of this foundation. You can get quite full coverage from it, but you know me, I always wear everything really natural, quite light. Tiny bit on my forehead. And I'm mixing that with my NARS Sheer Glow in Cartoon. Just to get a slightly deeper colour, because my forehead is darker. And wipe that in again. And for me, my forehead is still a little bit ashy up here, so I'm taking my Makeup Forever palette and using the darkest colour just to bring that back. Look, I'm trying a new a new product today. I don't know if it's going to be bright enough. We'll see. It's the Hourglass Stick Foundation in Sable. Yeah, and for me, it's not bright enough. It's kind of a bit too similar to my skin colour, but we're going to work with it. I'm taking a face blending brush. Is that what it's called? Face shadow brush, sorry. From Real Techniques. I'm just going to buff that in. I'm going to have to mix something else in so that's a make it pop a bit more because it's way too close to my skin tone. I mean, if you don't like your under eyes highlighted, this will be perfect, but I like a tiny bit more brightness because I'm a little bit, um, <laughs> I'm a little bit obsessed with my eye bag. So I'm just gonna put a tiny dot of the Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover. And the color I'm using is W3, yeah. And just brighten that up in here. way too much honestly guys this product you need such a tiny amount okay looks better blend it in here then i'm just going to take my sculpting brush again and just run it over the top to make sure it's all worked in I'm gonna take a tiny bit of this on my lid too, because usually I've got concealer on my eyelid as well, so I'm gonna blend that in again. Okay, so now I've got a rough base on, I'm gonna move on to my brows. I'm taking a spoolie, just a regular spoolie, and just brush up Struggolina, <laughs> and then the good eyebrow. And once again, this is like my new thing that I really liked, and I'm using these two. Dip down from MAC and the Lasting Gel Drama from Maybelline in black to make like a coffee, coffee bean colour. And just fill them in gently. I don't want them too strong because I am going to do quite a full on eye today, so that's enough brown. For my eyes, I'm mixing um, High Drama and Oh Lady Liquid Lipsticks from MAC, just to do something different. 
disclaimer, don't do this at home if you don't want to have stained eyelids. Just let me know. And I'm actually going to go back to that concealer brush, just take off a tiny bit of the product. And mix these two colours together. And let's go, let's see what happens. It's going to be a very pink, monochromatic look today, I think. Just build up the intensity a bit more. Actually, I'm going to use my finger and pat it on. And then just blend this up high. Taking a clean brush with no product on and just working the edge away. This is a dome shadow brush. And just really pulling that shadow out. And then blend again here. Do the same on this eye. I've changed my technique. I'm just using my finger to put it on first. And then going back to the same brush and just blending it away. I'm taking a Louise Young LY13 brush. And I'm just going to run that same colour underneath the eye. And I'm using the same brush just to blend the edges away. Then I'm taking a MAC eyeshadow, pressed pigment and deeply dashing. Now mine's actually broken, so it's in a little sample pot. And I'm just going to use my finger. Ooh, and press that on. Then I'm taking a 226 brush from MAC and just blending the edge. I think I'm going to put a tiny bit more on. I'm taking the Hourglass um, blush, strobe lighting, yeah, strobe lighting blush, and the colour is Euphoric Fusion, and I'm just going to use it as an inner corner highlight in here, really soft. Okay, got a cold pencil here. I'm going to create a bit of a dramatic um, smoky wing. So I'm just really working that into the lash line. And then working it underneath. Then I'm taking the 228 mini shader brush from MAC and I'm just blurring out the edge and winging that out slightly. And then connect it to the top. Yeah, I think I can do bigger than that. This is just for, for fun today. I really couldn't think of what to do. And then take the cold pencil inside as well. And then tight line to all the black today. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Let's start with the liner here. Then I'm taking the Danessa Myrick and Light Powder in Aura of Tranquility. I think I just want to make this stand out a teeny bit more. Ooh, whoa, okay. Didn't think it was going to be that strong. Wow, that's pretty. Okay, I'm going to blend that out. Yeah, that's nice. Then for blush, I'm going to use Oh Lady. Just two little swipes like that. Go back to my sculpting brush. And just blend that in. Then I'm taking my Tom Ford palette and I'm going to use the highlighter that comes in this. This is the Shape and Illuminate in Intensity 2. I don't, this makeup look doesn't warrant um, like a gold shimmer because it's quite cool. 
it's quite cool pinks and then like the silvery highlight on top so I think this is going to work really well Then I'm going to take the contour colour in here and work that in. I don't know if it's going to be dark enough. No, it's not really dark enough. Which is what I thought was going to happen. So I'm going to blend that in because it's there now. But I'm going to go back to Cartoon from NARS. I'm running out of space on my hand. Okay, it's a tiny bit here. This is turning out to be a really dewy makeup. Let's put a tiny bit there. I'm going to use a 224 and just blend to create some definition in here. I'm actually going to use some of my Sephora Creamy Lip Stain in number 8 and just make that a little bit brighter. I'm just going to use my fingers for this actually because I don't want the colour to dilute too much. And then just go back and skim the highlighter over the top. For this kind of makeup look, my natural instinct is to do something nude. But I've been looking at my videos and I have loads and loads and loads of nude lips. So I'm going to do something way more dramatic. And colourful today and if it looks good it looks good and if it doesn't it's just makeup but I'm taking the uh, high drama and I'm going to use this lip instead Now I'm going to do my mascara. So I'm using my Inextreme 3D Black Lash today on its own. Because I want really volumised lashes for this look. So as you can see, it's way more mascara than I normally do. But the eyes are so full on, they needed a lot of mascara to kind of balance the eye makeup out. Now I'm just going to go in and finesse the rest of my makeup because I'm pretty much finished but I'm not a fan of a super super matte lip like I, I don't really like how this looks so I'm going to take a tiny bit of lip conditioner and just pat that over the top. I don't really like the look of liquid lipsticks but I like the staying power so that's a little cheat that I do sometimes. Okay, now, I'm gonna go into my dark mineralized powder and I'm using a Real Technique setting brush and I'm literally just gonna push that in underneath my eyes. And do the same here. And I'm only putting it where the concealer would crease. I'm not taking it all the way out here because I, I like the highlight there. I like to put it down the sides of my nose. And on my chin. Then I'm just going to clean off the brush a little bit and then just go in and blend so there's no hard edges to the powder. Then I'm mixing, mixy mixy, I'm mixing my um, Danessa Myrex Evolution Powder in 05 and my Cover FX Powder in deep, the matte setting powder in deep. What is this? I am taking a Real Techniques 300 brush, the Bold Metals collection. And I'm just going to tap some of this out. And tap some of this out. And 
just work it into the brush in the palm of my hand and just set the rest of the makeup and really just push that into my forehead because it does get so shiny in the middle end of my nose don't like a shiny nose and then for my forehead which is darker I'm just taking the evolution powder in number five that's really red and warm just to give some life up here and last but not least I'm going to set my brows so I just looked and realized I've not done that so I'm taking my Illamasqua brow gel and I'm just going to brush these bad boys into place Try and not get it on the skin stays. Ugh. So I've just checked and I haven't taken my eyeshadow up high enough. So I don't know why I do this all the time. I only do it when I do videos. When I do it in real life, I never do this. But anyway, I digress. So I'm taking a 239. I'm just going to pop my head up and blend this eyeshadow a little higher. Which I think it's going to work nicer with my fingers. So let's take that and work it into my hand. That's better. It makes my eyes look bigger. I don't know why I'm cheating myself and making them look smaller. Let's do this one too. Then I'm just going to go back with the Vanessa Myricks and Light Powder in, was it Aura of Tranquility? Yes, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> and take that 239 brush again. And just go over that shadow I've done and blend it out. So, this is the final look for today. This is properly out there for me. Like this is full on, full on makeup. It's not something that I would wear on an everyday basis at all. I just wanted to show something a bit more glam and more colorful as well, because let me just explain the snoring. Sugar Bum woke up from his nap and wanted mommy to carry him. And he's now falling back asleep, haven't you, bug? And he snores like his mommy, so. <laughs> That's the snoring that you can hear. But yeah, like I was saying, this is a, like a full on makeup for me. And I'd probably wear this if I was going out, ah, ah. Anyone who knows the Mickey Flanagan skit knows what I'm talking about when I say ah, ah. I'd probably wear something really understated and just let all the focus be on the makeup. But this is really fun to do because I love the glow. The Tom Ford product is really beautiful, especially um, as the highlight on the cheeks. So yes, I hope you really enjoyed this video and maybe Maybe you learned something from it, maybe you didn't, maybe it was just some escapism for you for the day. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you don't follow me already on my Instagram, I'll leave my handle for you here. I do lives on Sunday morning at 9.30 GMT, so you can see me do makeup in real time if you're interested. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell as well so you get notified when I put new videos up. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.